from the New York Times. It's about the, we're going to discuss, I'm going to read the dream. You know, the dream got a lawsuit and he's accused of the R word. As I said earlier that y'all probably didn't hear me is that uh, Mims, make it make sense, a YouTuber has the whole lawsuit and he read half of it, but he couldn't get through the, the rest of it because of the, of the details that was in there. So let me go and read it. So this is from the New York Times, and I have to read it for my for my phone because I can't get it to pop up on the computer. Issues, right? And y'all didn't hear me earlier, but I said, hey, all the Gemini's, and because tomorrow is my birthday, it's Gemini season. So again, I want to say happy birthday to me, to me. Oh, so Gemini's out there, you know, put it down in the comment. Happy birthday to all y'all. Now let's let's go. Come on, y'all. Let's discuss. Now this the the title of the article is "Dream Hit Maker for Beyonce and Rihanna is Accused of the R Word." In a lawsuit, former protege of Dream says he entangled her in an abusive relationship. Dream called the allegations untrue and defamatory. See, on Tuesday, the New York Times broke the news that the Grammy winners, the Grammy winner. Singer songwriter was sued in the U.S. District Court in Los Angeles on Tuesday by a singer named, and I call her Miss Monroe, by a singer named Miss Monroe, who performed under the name Shani, is C H A N N I Monroe. In the suit, she claims that Dream promised to promote her career in 2015. However, she alleges that the corner is. Instead, repeatedly, she alleged that he repeatedly forced her to have SEX. Ms. Monroe also claimed that Dream strangled her, recorded a video of them having SEX, and threatened to show it to others. He ex-trafficked. Uh, yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, 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 I had to go back. Okay, now this is okay. So a top songwriter and producer for Beyonce Dream is a top songwriter and producer for Beyonce and Rihanna and other stars. He has been accused of the R word, actual battery, and a lawsuit filed on Tuesday. Dream used promises to promote her career to promote Miss Monroe's career in 2015. And entangle her in an abusive relationship to what she repeatedly forced her to have SEX, strangled her, and once made a video recording of an intimate encounter and threatened to show it to others. Dream is one of the most powerful producers behind the scenes of the music industry. The eight, he was an eight-time Grammy winner who helped and forge a particularly close relationship with Beyonce credited as the writer and producer of signature female empowerment anthems like Single Ladies Break My Soul and working on each other's superstar studio albums since 2018. Since 2008. Now, isn't that crazy? If this, if, now, this is alleged. It's a lawsuit. But if this is true, for you to make these female empowerment anthems and be doing things like this to females, that is crazy. But Miss Morell's suit filed in U.S. court, U.S. District Court in Los Angeles, portrays Dream as an abusive figure dangling the promise of fame and success before an inspiring artist while controlling her life, forcing her into unwanted SEX and physically abusing her. The suit also accused Dream of ex trafficking, a claim that has been cited in a number of recent civil law lawsuits including against Sean Combs, the hip-hop mogul known as Diddy or Puff Daddy. I think they're going to just always include him. Like, just in case you don't remember, the one who got all them lawsuits and Homeland Security, this is part of the reason. Yeah, I said security. Homeland Security, they ran up in his house. This is, you know, he one of those types. So, over accusations of harboring or transport, transporting a victim of S assault by fraud over corrosion. Miss Monroe suit cites the actual abuse and cover up accountability act, a California law that allows people to bring actual assault cases, even if the statute of limitation for incidents they 
that alleged have this fire. So this is just saying she's bringing this lawsuit under the California Act that after the statute of limitation didn't expire, that's why you see these lawsuits coming up. That was 20 years ago, 30 years ago, because now they got a new law that even after the statute of limitation expired, you can still sue them civilly. That's all that says. So what Dream did to me made it impossible to live the life I envisioned for myself and pursue my goals as a singer and songwriter, Miss Monroe said in a statement. Ultimately, my silence has become too painful, and I realize that I need to tell my story to heal. I hope that doing so will also help others and prevent future horrific abuse. I can't see the top. In a statement supplied by a representative, Dream denied the accusations. These claims are untrue and defamatory, he said in a statement. I oppose all forms of harassment and have always strived to help people realize their career goals as someone committed to making a positive impact on my fellow artists and the world at large. I am deeply offended and saddened by these accusations. Miss Monroe, 33, was born in the Netherlands and wanted to break into the music business as a pop singer and songwriter. According to her complaint, she was working in the United States in late 2014 when associates of Dream asked her to send examples of her music. Then in January of 2015, she flew to Atlanta to meet Dream, who took her to a strip club. Right that would be uh uh-uh, what type of business meeting is this? Do not take me to a strip club. I, I don't know what maybe that's how they do it in Atlanta. Yeah, but he took her to the strip club, began recording with her, and according to the complaint, told her that he would make her the next Beyonce and Rihanna. I would have been like, hey, did Beyonce and Rihanna meet you at the strip club, Ninja? Now, within days, according to Miss Monroe lawsuit, Dream began to pressure her and to have an SEX. He told her that it's part of the process. At a house with a, with a studio where they was working, the suit says he locked her in a dark room and was stop and he he would only stop having aggressive as he acts with her once she said she loved him. And if I didn't say it, y'all, because I didn't have the sound problem, I don't know what y'all did hear or didn't hear that this is a trigger warning, and I think the details I don't get uh the details are something, you know, so it's it's it is a R allegation, so there are going to be details that relate to that. So more actuals and counter continue. The suit says with Dream sometimes holding her down and refusing to use a condom despite her protest. And I said, put this in the comments because I don't know the numbers. Let me know whether or not this is true. That if I'm not mistaken, Dream got nine kids with four different baby mamas. So she said he would refuse to to use condoms despite her telling him to. At the same time, the suit said he made business business promises to her, suggesting he would make her the opening act for Beyonce's next tour. According to the complaint, Dream then became more controlling and violent. He placed her in an Atlanta hotel, had his security staff monitor her movements, and berated her unless she regularly checked in with him. I said, and don't that sound like the P. Diddy lawsuit? What he did with Cassie, putting her in the house, having the staff, she tried to leave, having the staff track her down. This one had his security monitoring her. But let's continue. After Miss Monroe complained about bed bugs in her hotel room, her court press said, and I was like, Dream was making that Beyonce money. Why you got this girl? What type of hotel you got this girl in? And that they got bed bugs and stuff. Not saying luxury hotels don't have bed bugs, can't have them. They can't, but. Mm. So she said he plied her with alcohol and marijuana. The complaint said and once forced Miss Monroe to have XEX with him while he recorded it, and later threatened to show the footage to other people. So pretty much he was gonna do revenge pee on her. During SEX, the complaint said Dream often placed a firearm next to her, which she saw as a warning. At a movie theater one day, Dream asked Miss Monroe to perform fellatio on him, the complaint said. After she said no, he became angry and forced her to have XEX and the view of all the other people there at the theater. It was a physically painful encounter, the complaint says. 
Later that same day, and those of these people at this theater, did nobody go contact nobody to say these people are doing this in a theater? Even if you thought it wasn't, I guess some people be like, my name Bennett, my name Bennett. Later that same day, the suit says that Miss that Dream took Miss Monroe to his van and again forced her to have XEX, pinning her down and placing her hand over her mouth and nose, leaving her unable to breathe. Dream signed Miss Monroe to the record label Contra Paris and arranged for a distribution deal for her with Epic Records, a major label owned by Sony. The court paper says that the summer of 2015, Miss Monroe was trying to escape from Dream, control, and prepare for the release of the album, but her efforts was unsuccessful. According to the complaint, Miss Monroe. Miss Monroe reported dream abuse to an epic executive who told her that she needed to figure out a way to work with dream. So at this point, once she didn't get her distribution deal, she signed to the thing and she tried to go above dream head and report him to an executive there at the company. And he was just like, well, figure it out. You need to find out a way to work with him. So in, in July 2016, According to the complaint, Miss Monroe was told that Epic was dropping her because Dream, who still controlled her artist contract, has not delivered music. Epic is also named as a defendant in the loss in the lawsuit. A spokesperson, a spokeswoman for Sony, did not have an immediate comment. Rep representations of Beyonce and Rihanna did not immediately respond to requests for comment. And so I'm like, don't be bringing Riri and B up in this. They ain't got nothing to do with it. Why would they representation respond? Like, they don't know everything that somebody they work with. And then if he's a producer, a hit writer, I'm quite sure they, it, a lot of times from what, what they say is they get sent songs. So, yeah, Riri and, and Rihanna, like, Riri and uh, Beyonce, like, mm -mm, they got nothing to do with me. My name Minute, and I ain't it. So, now we can get to the to the Kanye West, y'all. So that, that's that lawsuit. Now, this Kanye West, I had said earlier, now y'all know Kanye West had had his, his opinion about a certain group of people. I can't say it on here, can't say the name because they they will strike you, okay? So he had his opinion about a certain group of people and how he feel like they control Hollywood and they trying to like black them out and stuff because of what he didn't see, right? Now, Harvey, who's the you know owner, who's the main person at TMZ, falls into this group. So I wanted to read the TMZ article to see how he's going to tell the story. Now, of course, this is taken from the TMZ website. It's a Kanye West sued for actual harassment by ex-assistant. Kanye West executive, ex-executive personal assistant claimed he gave her the boot after sending her Val actual text and video. Lauren Piscocki I'm going to call her Lauren because I'm quite sure I messed up that name. Says in her lawsuit that she was the only fan model who posted a bunch of bikini and lingerie pictures and was super su successful making a million a year. I need to get on OnlyFans. I need to lose this big back, you know, OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> Kanye hired Lauren in July 2021 after meeting her when she was putting together his fashion line. She says she also... could collaborated with him and worked with him on three songs on Donda. A year later, she says he came to her and wanted her to be God-like and asked her to delete her OnlyFans account and promised to pay her $1 million a year if she did so. She says she agreed. Lauren claimed shortly after Kanye began to send her a series of text messages, including one that read, Y'all ready? Let me get some water. Including the one that read. See, my problem is I be wanting F, but then after I F, I want my girl to tell me how hard they been F while I'm Fing them. Then I want her to cheat on me. <laughs> you can pay me so I cheat on you for two minutes. <laughs> I cheat on you for 20. Kanye. Not my hood, but Kanye. 
I'm quite sure she had, well, she would have cheated on you for free if you're giving her a million dollars a year, baby. Now, anyway, <laughs> then I want her to cheat on me. It gets really vulgar after that with more alleged texts from Lauren that describe Yates' actual fantasy with women, including a lot of explicit language. There's one interesting alleged text Lauren claims he sent her that went something like this. Y'all ready for this? Y'all here? This is what it's. This is what they say. This ain't what I'm saying that Kanye say because he wear all white lives matter t-shirt. That's not what I said. This article is saying that it said that he said is my eggplant racist? Probably. Let me just read it. Stop adding stuff in. Is my eggplant racist? It is. This effing racist eggplant mask. I'm gonna beat this effing racist eggplant for being effing racist. I'm going to stare at pictures of white women with black asses and beat the ass out of my eggplant. Beating the crap out of this big black eggplant. That's what he said. <sighs> Not just this, but Lauren also claimed he would please himself doing phone calls with her and asks if she can hear or guess what he's doing and she claims he was fixated on the eggplant size of her boyfriend wait so that sounds like kanye too like why you want to know her boyfriend eggplant size if you get y'all infatuated with other men private parts what what why <laughs> Why are y'all infatuated with other men private parts? Don't you better worry about your own since you say this big black that you like to see with white women. <laughs> but you worry about her boyfriend prat size of his now she ain't I didn't even worry about it. She said he was fixated on it. You gay, you gay, Donnie. Gay. You gay. That's gay. Don't find any anyway. Let's go back to what it says. He's fixated on the on the the eggplant, the size of her. He was fixated on the size of her boyfriend eggplant. According to the lawsuit, there was a slew of text messages and actual videos and photos that were sent to her, including at least two videos of Kanye having XCX with a model. She claims he then promoted her to chief of staff for his various companies at a salary of four million dollars. Mm -hmm. Lauren says in October 2022, she was fired, but claimed he offered her a $3 million severance, which she accepted. She claimed she was never paid. She's suing for breach of contact, actual harassment, wrongful termination, and hostile work environment. We reached out to, to Kanye rep. So far, no word back. Now, let me see. Let me see what date this was because i want to say the one the response is today so this was june 3rd so yeah this was two days ago now let me read this response y'all let me read this response because his lawyer respond kanye blast baseless actual harassment allegations from exorcist uh, in statement comparing her <laughs> comparing her chin to Jay Leno. Now did he denied, but he took a dig. Ye says Lauren has attempted to blackmail and extort him. Kanye West announced that he will be pursuing legal actions against Lauren, a former assistant who accused him of actual harassment. He said, you're going to sue me? I'm going to sue you back. That's such a Jimmy that thing. We got to get our leg back, baby. Jimmy Nye's out there. Like, I'm not Kanye West Jimmy Nye. I don't even, most time, I don't even clue her, him with us. But that's a Jimmy Nye thing right there. But I'd have got past that part of my life. In a statement provided to Complex by Ye's attorney, the 46-year-old rapper alleges that Lauren, 35, pursued him actually to secure employment and benefits, then resorted to blackmail and extortion when rejected. Here's the full statement, which, which bizarrely ends with Jay Leno Chan joke. 
not not this is attorney. This is a Kaye attorney. Okay. Who gonna rag on the girl chin? Wait, let me go look at her chin. Oh, they don't got it in this one. They got her picture in this one. Let me go back to the last one. See, see her, this girl chin. In response to these baseless allegations, ye will be filing a lawsuit against Lauren, who actively pursued him actually to coerce emp employment and other material benefits, then engage in blackmail and extortion when her advances were rejected. Wait, if she pursued him to coerce employment, that means he, he employed them because she was his ex-assistant. So she did get the employment. Okay. Prior to her termination as an assistant, Lauren stole his cell phone in an attempt to destroy phone in an attempt to destroy phone records that would contradict her claim, all of which has been preserved. That, that's, you know, that's the tiny way of saying, okay, all right, well, you're going to mess around and find out because you thought you got rid of these messages and you didn't get rid of and you didn't. And he got, that's the way of telling her, we got these messages <laughs> and we're going to sue you. That's a tiny, nice way of saying that. He said, you tried to steal that phone, but you didn't get it, so. Now you see now, you the phone. Like, oh, we still got the messages. So, let me see. <laughs> okay, she terminated. Prior to her termination as assistant, she tried to steal his phone and attempt to destroy records, but they were still preserved. Okay, she was terminated for being unqualified, demanding unreasonable sums of money, including a $4 million annual salary and numerous documented inc incidents of her <laughs> vivacious, unhinged behavior. During her employment, Lauren offers ye sex on his birthday, to which he declined, sent ye unsolicited new images actual narr narratives and seen twerking in the office doing business out. Just twerking on them headlights, twerking on them headlights. On one occasion, Lauren boast, boasted had the best moment in her life but when she why did they put this in here? When she uh, when she had mayonnaise, men, men mayonnaise, okay? On, <laughs> put on her by a soccer player while, while texting her boss. It was well documented how Lauren consistently used actual corrosion in an attempt to demand not only money but material items, namely Hermes Bir Birkenbag, a Lamborghini, and an endless quest for plastic surgery. Upon having her advances rebuke, Lauren blackmailed the men had gone from $60 million last year to $50 million in last week's frivolous filing. Such behavior is entirely inconsistent with someone who claims to have been actually harassed or experienced a hostile work environment. It is evident that Lauren leveraged her association with Yi and his company and her approximate her being close to her to seek material gains, clout, and employment through inappropriate means. Her initial attempt at a lawsuit for unlawful termination gained no media traction, leading her to fabricate headlines following threats of blackmail and extortion. Ye is, isn't the only celebrity targeted by Lauren. Jay Leno, <laughs> Jay Leno is suing her for stealing his chin. This, this, is, <laughs> this is the turn of response. According to TMZ, Lauren, the only fan creator, earned $1 million annually, saying she was hired by Ye in 2001. To corroborate on his fashion line and his album, she claims that Ye asked her to be godlike, to delete her only fans, and he would match the earnings to what she agreed. However, Ye reportedly began sending her vulgar text videos and would please herself during the phone calls. Lauren said that Ye was fixated on the size of her boyfriend, Eggplant. Okay, this is a front picture. I don't see the J-Lo chin. Maybe it's on the side picture. It don't look like that girl got J Lo saying his attorneys are being petty up. Counting that lady told me she stole. I mean, not J Lo. They said me she stole um, J Leno uh, chin. <laughs> That's some English Chicago. Kanye probably wrote that himself and talking about his attorney word. He probably wrote it. 
So we ignorant. Uh, Jimmy Dad's in <laughs> Chateau. That's that's two ignorant combinations together. Ain't no telling what come out their mouth. Cause half the time, I don't know what's gonna come out man's side and said, and at that point it's too late. But he didn't wrote this, so he just sat there and thought about it and still put <laughs> she stole J Lo cheat. And it's supposed to be this attorney responded back. Y'all, those are two law the two lawsuits. I had to get out of here and sorry about the earlier um mute another video for the first 15 minutes i probably would have be able to talk more and i wouldn't have to talk so fast so maybe i will, will be coming back tonight if i have time because tomorrow i'm probably gonna be too lit to be on here or i'm gonna be like drunk like you're gonna be unwind with 2 uh, <laughs> t and i will be on here too messed up and y'all gonna be like she's ridiculous and i am now, <laughs> y'all enjoy your rest of the day. Maybe I'll see y'all tonight because there's still a DJ Academics uh, lawsuit that he's denying of an actual nature with his that I still need to come back and report on. I haven't reported on that. Watch my video yesterday that I did with the Donald Trump and his 34 uh, guilty guilty charges. Yeah, so, but with these two lawsuits, did y'all believe both? Do you believe the Kanye one with the you know he's his his black eggplant that he likes to put in white women and you know been uh fixated on the size of her boyfriend eggplant now <laughs> and then do you believe the dream one because the dream one was a lot and like i said mills have the full lawsuit where he went through half of it but it was so 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 many details and so that he couldn't get through all. He says he's gonna come back with a part two. Now I've been to go because I got to get back to work and I still haven't even ate. I will catch y'all next time. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know, um, follow me on Facebook, TikTok. I may try to go live on TikTok tonight. I see. But uh follow me on all the social media, Facebook, TikTok, fan base instagram x or twitter whatever we want to call it but and it's all tootie talk sense okay so i will catch y'all next time thanks for watching enjoy your night well the rest of your day and your night don't get too messed up and if you do be safe while you do it okay now y'all have a good day bye